In today's fast-paced world, finding time for exercise can be tough. With our busy schedules, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and think that we need to dedicate hours at the gym to see any real results. But the truth is, you can achieve significant fitness gains without spending endless hours working out. But guess what? You don't need hours at the gym to get fit. In fact, short, effective workouts can be just as beneficial if not more so than longer sessions. These quick routines can fit seamlessly into your day, making it easier to stay consistent and motivated. Short, effective workouts can be your secret weapon to a healthier you. High-intensity interval training, Chiite, for example, is a fantastic way to maximize your workout in a short amount of time. By alternating between intense bursts of activity and short rest periods, you can burn more calories and improve your cardiovascular health in just a few minutes. Just five minutes a day can make a difference. Imagine starting your day with a quick five-minute routine that gets your heart pumping and your muscles working. It might not seem like much, but those minutes add up over time, leading to noticeable improvements in your fitness and overall well-being. It's all about fitting fitness into your busy schedule, wherever you are. Whether you're at home, in the park, or even at the office, there are countless ways to incorporate short workouts into your day. You can do bodyweight exercises, use resistance bands, or follow along with a quick online workout video. These quick workouts are perfect for beginners. If you're new to exercise, starting with short, manageable routines can help you build confidence and establish a regular fitness habit. You don't need any special equipment or a gym membership, just a few minutes and some space to move. They are also great for experienced exercisers who need a quick boost. Even if you're already fit, incorporating short, high-intensity workouts into your routine can help you break through plateaus and keep your workouts fresh and exciting. Plus, they're a great way to squeeze in some extra activity on days when you're short on time. No matter your fitness level, these five-minute routines can help you reach your goals. Whether you're aiming to lose weight, build muscle, or simply improve your overall health, short workouts can be tailored to meet your specific needs. The key is to stay consistent and make the most of the time you have. So let's jump in and discover how just a few minutes can transform your well-being. By making short workouts a regular part of your routine, you'll not only see physical benefits but also experience increased energy, improved mood, and a greater sense of accomplishment. Remember, it's not about how long you work out, it's about making every minute count. Let's start with a classic, the squat. This fundamental exercise has been a staple in fitness routines for decades and for good reason. It's not just about building muscle, it's about enhancing your overall physical health and performance. This exercise is a full body workout in itself. When you perform a squat, you engage multiple muscle groups simultaneously, making it one of the most efficient exercises you can do. It targets your quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and even your core. Squats work your legs, glutes, and core, but that's not all. They also help in improving your balance and coordination. By regularly incorporating squats into your workout routine, you can enhance your athletic performance and reduce the risk of injuries. They are fantastic for building strength and improving mobility. Squats can help you move more freely and with greater ease in your daily activities. Whether you're lifting groceries, playing with your kids, or simply walking up the stairs, the strength and mobility gained from squats can make a significant difference. Here's how to do a squat. Proper form is crucial to maximize the benefits and minimize the risk of injury. Let's break it down step by step. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. This stance provides a stable base and allows for optimal movement. Your toes should be pointing slightly outward, not straight ahead. Keep your back straight and your core engaged. Imagine a string pulling you up from the top of your head, keeping your spine in a neutral position. Engaging your core helps to protect your lower back and maintain balance. Lower your hips as if you're sitting back in a chair. Push your hips back and bend your knees, making sure they don't go past your toes. This movement should be controlled and deliberate. Go as low as you comfortably can. Ideally, your thighs should be parallel to the ground, but listen to your body and don't push beyond your limits. Flexibility and range of motion will improve with practice. Push through your heels to return to standing. This engages your glutes and hamstrings, providing the power needed to lift your body back up. Keep your movement smooth and controlled. Remember to breathe. Inhale as you lower down and exhale as you stand up. Proper breathing helps to maintain your rhythm and provides the oxygen your muscles need to perform effectively. Aim for 10 to 12 repetitions. This range is ideal for building strength and endurance. As you become more comfortable with the movement, you can increase the number of reps or add weights for an extra challenge. 
Feel the burn and embrace the power of the squat. The discomfort you feel is a sign that your muscles are working hard and getting stronger. Over time, you'll notice improvements in your strength, endurance, and overall fitness. There are many variations of the squat that you can try to keep your workouts interesting and challenging. For example, the goblet squat involves holding a weight in front of your chest, which adds resistance and engages your upper body. Jump squats are another great variation. They add a plyometric element to the exercise, which helps to build explosive power and improve cardiovascular fitness. Just be sure to land softly to protect your joints. Single leg squats or pistol squats are an advanced variation that requires significant strength and balance. They are excellent for targeting each leg individually and correcting any muscle imbalances. You can also incorporate resistance bands into your squats. This adds an extra level of difficulty and helps to activate your glutes and hip muscles even more. For those looking to build serious strength, barbell squats are a must. They allow you to lift heavier weights and significantly increase the load on your muscles. Just make sure to use proper form and start with a weight that you can handle safely. After your squat session, don't forget to stretch. Stretching helps to improve flexibility, reduce muscle soreness, and prevent injury. Focus on your legs, hips, and lower back. Keep track of your progress. Whether it's the number of reps, the amount of weight, or the depth of your squat, monitoring your improvements can be incredibly motivating and help you set new goals. Embrace the journey and enjoy the process. Squats are a powerful exercise that can transform your body and boost your confidence. So, get squatting and feel the power of this incredible movement. Next up, we're targeting our upper body with push-ups. Push-ups are one of the most effective exercises for building upper body strength. They are versatile, require no equipment, and can be done anywhere. Whether you're at home, in the gym, or even outdoors, push-ups can be incorporated into your workout routine with ease. This exercise strengthens your chest, shoulders, and triceps. The primary muscles worked during a push-up are the pectoral muscles in the chest, the deltoids in the shoulders, and the triceps at the back of the upper arms. Additionally, push-ups engage the core muscles, including the abdominals and lower back, providing a full-body workout. Push-ups are a great way to build upper body power. They not only enhance muscle strength but also improve muscle endurance and stability. By regularly incorporating push-ups into your fitness routine, you can develop a more toned and defined upper body. Here's how to do a push-up. Start in a plank position, with your hands shoulder-width apart. Your body should form a straight line from your head to your heels. Ensure that your hands are placed directly under your shoulders and your fingers are spread out for better stability. Lower your chest towards the floor, keeping your core engaged. As you lower yourself, focus on maintaining a straight line from your head to your heels. Engage your core muscles to prevent your hips from sagging or lifting too high. This will ensure that you are working your muscles effectively and reducing the risk of injury. Your elbows should be at a 45 degree angle to your body. This angle helps to distribute the weight evenly across your upper body and reduces the strain on your shoulders. It also allows for a greater range of motion, which can lead to better muscle activation and growth. Push back up to the starting position. As you push up, exhale and focus on squeezing your chest muscles. This will help to maximize the effectiveness of the exercise. Make sure to fully extend your arms at the top of the movement without locking your elbows. If you're new to push-ups, start with your knees on the ground. This modified version of the push-up reduces the amount of body weight you need to lift, making it easier to perform. It's a great way to build strength and confidence before progressing to full push-ups. As you get stronger, you can progress to doing full push-ups. Gradually increase the number of repetitions and sets as your strength improves. You can also try different variations of push-ups such as wide grip, close grip, or decline push-ups to target different muscle groups and add variety to your workouts. Aim for 8 to 10 repetitions. Start with a manageable number of repetitions and gradually increase as you build strength. Consistency is key, so try to incorporate push-ups into your routine at least three times a week. Feel the strength building in your upper body with each push. As you continue to practice push-ups, you'll notice improvements in your muscle tone, endurance, and overall upper body strength. Remember to listen to your body and take rest days as needed to allow your muscles to recover and grow. A strong core is essential for overall fitness. Planks are a fantastic exercise for strengthening your abdominal muscles. They also engage your back and shoulders. Here's how to do a plank. Start in a push-up position. 
lower down onto your forearms. Keep your body in a straight line from head to heels. Hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds. Remember to breathe deeply and engage your core throughout the hold. If you find it challenging to hold for the full time, start with shorter intervals and gradually increase the duration. Feel the burn in your core as you build strength and stability.